Hi, so this week for my um, professional project, um, we're basically continuing on with mixes for the song. Uh, I received the second mix for the song now, and it's definitely sounding a lot better in terms of like professional quality, if that makes sense. It's definitely getting there. The auto-tune is less aggressive, and it's kind of smoothing it out quite nicely. Um, I still think there's a few tweaks we could do. Um, there's a few more bits that could be added. But the main focus at the moment now is the drums, is getting the drums better um, and finding some samples. But the actual mix, she's mastered this one as well. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it sounds nice. The levels are nice. Everything is quite tight, so it's cool. Yeah, it's just finding some different samples, I think, um, for the drums and stuff. So uh, the picture is finished now. The image um, is completely finished. Um, so that's good at least like I hopefully by the end of this then I can showcase a lot of the work leading up to a release like the single image and the single itself maybe not in its final form but leading up to that um but I just won't be able to release it yet because I don't feel like it's the right decision to release it at this moment in time in terms of my career outside of university um I think if we get it sounding tight as hell, then we can release it and there could be some sort of, I don't know, a following of some kind or something come out of it. So I don't want to risk not having that just because we rushed the production of the song. So, yeah, so I'm going to we're going to continue getting some better mixes um, and then I guess it's just evaluating the process. Uh, within the next couple of weeks um, and making sure that I justify my reasons as to why. I mean, with COVID-19, it's been difficult to even do anything, let alone, like, I don't know, do any more work on this just because of, like I say, where Lucy is working a lot more. Um, it's quite difficult getting work done on it. So, yeah, um, we're just going to go with the flow, I guess. Um but it's good because I managed to get some good research done um, <clears throat> prior to this. A questionnaire um, suggesting, like, people are basically saying where they find out new music, where they find out, you know, like the artists they listen to, how they find out about when they're releasing new music and things. And uh, I've also done um, diff a different kind of research where I've looked at articles and things like discussing like for example the 20 single the 20 day single plan that uh damien keys does is amazing for giving you and giving yourself an idea as to what to do um i think the structure of the plan is great i don't know if it's something that i would follow in the future like religiously because i think you need a lot of components and maybe even some sort of backing prior to doing this plan but I think there's definitely elements in there that I can take and use for my own um, development plan if that makes sense my own single release plan um, and also I've looked at articles for things like aggregators and distributors online um, and how to get my music out there and it's been really helpful actually because I've, had I not looked at that I probably would have just gone with one that I've heard of um, but it's given me the knowledge as to whether to choose things like DistroKid or CD Baby or AWOL or any of the others really but um, I feel like those are the top three from what I've seen the most reliable like across the board people seem to suggest either one of those three um, there's TuneCore as well there's tons there's loads of different ones um, but I'm thinking Possibly CD Baby or DistroKid at this point in time. AWOL would be great, but they do take a 15% commission. It's things like that you've got to bear in mind. Uh, I guess 15% isn't that much in a sense, but in the long run, it could be more. You know, it could. I don't know, it could feel like a lot. Um, whereas if I paid that, like, single fee, you know, the. Um, like, the DistroKid fee, which I think is. Eighteen pounds, maybe nineteen ninety nine. I can't remember off the top of my head exactly, but it's a yearly fee, and then you can upload as much music as you like, kind of thing, basically. 
or their CD Baby where it's the one-off payment for the single and it's like, you know, you've paid for that single then or that album or whatever. But yeah, it's basically deciding how we want to do it. And I'm thinking for this single to maybe go with CD Baby because I've heard different things um, about, like, the the post-release support. So I am struggling between District and CD Baby. Like, I've heard that CD Baby's good at getting you into different playlists on Spotify. Um, but then I've heard that DistroKid is great in terms of customer service and things. So it's really just like coming down to it and trying to figure out what to prioritise, really. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this week. We're just I'm just kind of working on it with Lucy when I can and when she can. But there isn't much we can do. So I'm just going to then focus now on getting a little bit more um, feedback. I think I'm going to try and do some interviews or surveying for the song. Um, and then go from there. Thanks.